my name is Lynn Bob. It rhymes with sob cars. Lots of people have trouble with how to pronounce it. But uh, I'm a teacher, a writer, a speaker, a preacher, a Presbyterian minister. I've done a lot of different things over my lifespan. Mostly right now I'm writing. The second lesson in our six lessons about spiritual disciplines is about prayer. And I don't know about you, but when I was a young adult, I was told that there's four kinds of prayer and we can use the acronym ACTS, adoration, confession, thankfulness, and supplication, which is a big word for intercession or asking, but it made a nice little acronym, ACTS. Well, a few years later, I learned about lament, lament prayers. They're all over the Psalms, and the Psalms is our prayer book that we have in the Bible. Oh, maybe we need to use an acronym L-A-C-T-S. Then a few years later, I learned about various forms of silent prayer. Oh, maybe we need an acronym L-A-C-T-S-S. You know, we can't use an acronym for prayer. There are so many kinds of prayer. Several kinds of prayer are in the Follow Me curriculum. So it's not like prayer isn't there. Prayer is definitely there in the curriculum. But the purpose of this lesson is to think about the many forms of prayer, to think about kind of outside the box about prayer and to spend some time discussing and talking about what other kinds of prayer are there? What does prayer look like? I mean, silent prayer alone, there's, I don't know, I could sit here and list off at least half a dozen, if not a dozen forms of silent prayer. And of course, there's prayer as an individual, there's prayer with a prayer partner, there's prayer in a group, there's prayer in a church setting. So there's there's just so many permutations of prayer. Prayer is the quintessential spiritual practice to draw near to God, to walk with Jesus. And I would argue it's also a quintessential spiritual practice for us to be shaped into the image of Jesus Christ. Because as we pray, we don't just pray out loud, we also hear God's voice back to us and we grow because of what we hear. So the scriptures that I drew attention to in this lesson on spiritual disciplines and this particular lesson on prayer are Paul's prayers in the various letters that he wrote. So the Apostle Paul, twice in Ephesians, lays out a prayer that's several verses long and then also at the beginning of Philippians and the beginning of Colossians. These prayers are absolutely beautiful. I'll tell you, if you are stuck in your prayer life, pull out one of these prayers and pray it. Pray it for yourself. Pray it for the people that you're concerned about. These prayers are absolutely gorgeous. And what I'm hoping in this lesson is that you will have a great time looking at the various categories of prayer that would come up out of Paul's prayers, and then also thinking really broadly about prayer. Where is it that you pray? Where is it that you might pray? Where is it that you'd like to pray? Where is it that other people pray that you could learn from? That's what I'm hoping from this lesson.